Okay, then. so we're going to start with some vocabulary about professions that we check on on Monday. So we are going to answer four quizzes of different professions. And after we finish, we are going to start with some vocabulary about animals, right? So let's get this started. Yeah. Let me check. For quiz number one, we have got Diana to start. Yes. All right, Diana. Ready? Please start telling me, telling me the profession. And remember, you have to say he is or she is, depending on the person. Ready? She is her. She is a, right? She is a. A hairdresser. All right. She is a baker. A what? Baker. Ah, yes. Okay, he's a baker. Mm, she, she is a cook. Okay, that's okay. She, he is a mechanic. All right, perfect. He is a teacher. Of course, like me. He is a waiter. Exactly. She is a doctor. Okay, very good. He is a farmer. A farmer, exactly. Very good. He is a journalist. Yes, the person who works in the TV, in the news. Okay, what else? She is a library. Library. Librarian. librarian. She is a librarian. Very good. She is a police officer. Okay, that's right. She's a police officer. She is a, an a student. Yeah, a student. Very good. She is an actor. Yes. He is a plumber. Magnificent. Okay, what goes next? He is a pilot. Okay, Diana, very good. We have finished with the first, but remember we are missing four of them so that we can today 60 applications. All right. I can see that Eileen is connected, so we can start with you, Carol. Are you ready, Eileen, to start? Let me show you some pictures and Please tell me he is or she is a. Okay, Eileen, come on. No, I want you to start. He is a. Yes, magician is a pronunciation. Next one, please. He is a singer. Okay, of course. How do you say the person who goes in the in the ships for special missions? He's a sailor. Exactly, it's a sailor, right? He's a taxi driver. Exactly, that's true. She's a baby, babysitter. Exactly, the person who takes care of children for some money. Next one. He's a banker. Yes, the person who works in the bank, it's a banker. Next one. This person cuts meat. How do you call it? Like? She's a builder. No, because a builder is a person who works in construction. Can you try with another, please? She's a butcher. Butcher. In the chat, girls, I type the meaning for butcher. Check it out. She's a dancer. She's a dancer, of course. A 
is her profession. She's a model. But she's working with technology. Can you see? With computers and everything. Uh, engineer. Engineer, exactly. All right, go to the next. How do you call this person? He's a gardener. Gardener, right? He's a... Um... Football player. Yes, or this can be football, basketball, tennis, or any sport. What do you say, player? Hey, girl, what is it? He's a firefighter. Nice. Can we go another? She's a painter. Yeah, it's a painter. We almost finished. He's a pol politician. Politician. Yeah, listen to the pronunciation and repeat. Politician. Politician. Yeah, like Barack Obama here. And... Mm, he is a receptionist. He's a receptionist. Very good, Eileen. Thanks. Okay, girls. We are still missing two more weeks yes, with different professions. Yeah, so let's go to the to the third one, Diana, right? So that we can check what professions are missing. By the moment, we have 30 professions that we have learned, but we are missing 30 more. All right, Diana, come on. He is an astronaut. He is a miner. But I see two people in the picture. They are miners. 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 Yeah. Oh, one, two, three. They are. These people are in charge. They, they are what? Sur Oh, surgeons. Surgeons. Yeah, because it's plural, remember. In they the chat, are girls? Surgeons. Yeah, in the chat, I type the meaning for a surgeon. So this is the person, it's a doctor, but in charge of operating people. Excellent. He is an um, electrician. Yeah. They are nurse. And your plural, lady? Nurse. Nurses. Nurses. Yeah, you must nurses. you must say your plurals because if you say uh, they are nurses, it's like is it plural or singular, right? Nurses. Yeah. They are clowns. Yeah, that's true. He's a barber. He's a barber, yeah. And a man cuts someone's hair, it's a barber. He's a security guard. Okay, the pronunciation for this is guard. Can you say guard. it again? Security guard. Security guard. Yeah. He's a security guard. Of course. She's a um, model. She's a model, right? He is a veterinarian. Mm, can you say it again, please? Veterinarian. Veterinarian. That's the way. He's a postman. Post. Postman. postman. Yeah. Postman. Yeah. Open your mouth when you speak for not having problems with pronunciation. Come on. He is a coach. Coach, yes. This is the one who works in the school as a physical education teacher. You call it coach or for training children or adults for soccer, basketball, whatever. Next. He, they are fishers. 
Yes. She is a optician. Really? A optician? But it starts with O. O optician? And. An optician. Yeah, because remember, you have to say an when you listen to the letter A, E, I, O, U. Yes? It's an optician, right? She is a photographer. Of course. Perfect. By the moment, we have checked 45 professions. So it's missing two or two quiz for more professions. Yeah? Let's get ready. And of course, the next one to participate is Eileen. Ready, girl? Come on. Go to this and you start telling me professions. In the chat, I'm typing the meaning for this person. You say this, Eileen. Ready? She is a mom. Exactly. And if it's a girl, ladies, you say this. None is for a woman, and for a man is monk. Let's go to the next, Eileen, please. This person dances ballet. She is a ballerina. Yeah, she's a ballerina. This is only for ballet girls because dancer is for something else like salsa or bachata or whatever comes to your mind. It's dancer, but if it's for ballet, it's ballerina. Next one. She is a... By, by, by. Yes, let me tell you the pronunciation. Girl. Violinist. Can you repeat it? Violinist. Violinist. Yeah, much better. Very good. What's he? He is a carpenter. Okay, there you go. Perfect. She is a. Scientist? Scientist, yeah. Scientist. Scientist. Yeah. Oh, this person works in football and stuff. He is a referee. A referee. Very well. We got the next. They know they are. Mm -hmm. He is um it's they. It's they, remember? They are. They are, they are a soldier. They are soldiers, remember, because it's Only. plural. Yes. She's a dentist. Of course, she's a dentist. What else? He's a tennis player. Of course, very good. Oh. He is a technician. Technician, yes. Check this the construction work. You say this. I they are. Lawyers? Lawyers? No, try with another because if you say lawyer, is this? Check the chat. Uh, these ones are some other. Mm -hmm. one. Cash? No, it's builders. They are builders. Mm -hmm. yes. Let me tell you by the chat what is the meaning for builders? Okay, they are builders. Okay, next one. This person, stories, books. I don't know if it's a he or a she, but what is it? I mean? She's a writer. Writer, okay. We almost finished. He's a farmer. 
barman. That's right. He's a barman. She's a um, florist. Of course, florist. And one more. We finish. They are see, cyclists. Cyclists. Correct. Okay. Very well. We had everything. Almost everything, right? We only missed the word uh, builder that it was the most difficult one, but the rest was okay. Okay, ladies, let's continue the class because as I promised you, today we're going to learn some vocabulary about uh, animals, right? So we are going to check different kinds of animals, like uh, for example, um, I don't know, give me a second. I was texting a message to, to Jackie, but let's continue, guys. Yes, I was telling you that um, we're going to check some vocabulary about animals. So we are going to check different kinds of animals like <coughs> birds, uh, I don't know, African animals. We're going to learn uh, vocabulary about farm animals and I don't know, insects, whatever. Give me a second. It's gonna be interesting. So let me let me show you my screen with this vocabulary, right? Here we go. We are ready to start and come on. Okay, first, what if we start with farm animals? In the last vocabulary you you learned about um, the farmer who is the person who, who works in agriculture and stuff like that. But in today's class, we're going to learn about farm animals first, yes? Let's start with the first quiz, right? 15 farm animals. Let's see how many you can uh, identify from the picture. I think this is easy. Um, okay, I think now we start with you, Eileen, yes? And Diana goes in the second position, right? Okay, Eileen, come on. Farm animals. What is this idea? Is a cow? Yes, of course. It's a cow. What else? It's a horse. Of course, it's a horse. Mm, it's a sheep. Yeah, it's a sheep. Perfect. Oh, how beautiful. It's a dog. It's a dog, exactly. Check this out, girls. When a, when a dog is a baby, we call it like this. Check the chat. Puppy, right? Puppy. So that's the, exactly. Like this, it's a puppy, correct? Okay, like this. It's a rabbit. Yes. When a rabbit is a baby girls, we call it check the chat. Bunny. Right? So that's that's the reason of why we have the cara the cartoon character Box Bunny, right? Okay, Eileen, what goes next? It's um Dogs. Goat, yes, it's a okay. goat. Yeah, because goose, it's a, it's a bird, but this is a goat. Okay. Goat. What is this? It's a chicken. It's a chicken, perfect. No, oh, it's like a horse, but smaller. It's a um, tor tortoise. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Try with another. Cow? Uh, I think cow was this, no? This is a cow, so it's another, right? What? Say it. It's a donkey. Donkey, donkey. Like donkey. The pronunciation of monkey, donkey, right? Right? It's a pig. Yes, exactly. And if it's a baby like this one, girls, 
we call it like this. Yes, when the when the piggies are baby, we call it piggy. All right, next one. It's a cat. It's a cat. When a cat is a baby, we call it kitty, right? In the chat, I type the meaning for that in English, kitty, all right? One, Eileen, what goes next? Is a duck, correct, duck. Is a mouse. A mouse, the next one. It's a hamster. It's a hamster. Okay. This one, it's this in the chat. In the chat, I type the meaning in Spanish for this animal. It's a goat. Yeah, it's a goose. 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 To finish. Be careful with this one because this animal is only for, for the land. It's not for water. What is it? It's a tortoise. Yes, okay. Let me type by the chat first. Thank you, Eileen. Look at this. When you say tortoise, yes, check the chat. It's this. Yeah, because if it's, if it's from water, you don't call it a, Tortoise, it's turtle, but these tortoises are bigger, yes, and they don't, uh, they don't go down to the to the water so much. I want to show you something, yes, because we are we were talking about hamster and rabbit, but there are some other rodents. Let me tell you by the chat what is the meaning, rodent. Yeah, there are some other rodents like. Let me show you a picture of this. Yeah, it's another, it's another animal that well maybe it's a, it's very famous for children. So I'm going to show you a picture. It's, uh, give me a pig. Let me show you. It's the the way to call it. It's weird, but this is a guinea pig. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. This animal in English, yes, we call it like this, guinea pig, yes, and they are rodents. So, for example, rodents can be guinea pig, rat, mouse, hamster, rabbit, etc. All right, that's a guinea pig. Well, let's go back because we finished with farm animals. And in the other one, it's the other one, it's gonna be for Diana. So, this is about African animals, I think. This animal is supposed to be found in Africa in general, but let's find them out, right? Okay, let me let me show you some animals. And come on, this is too easy for you. Let's go. It's a monkey. It's a monkey. monkey. Okay. It's a giraffe. It's a giraffe. Yeah. It's a tiger. Yes. Check the chat, girls, because uh, if it's a if it's a male, you call it tiger, yeah. But if it's um a female, you call it tigris. Yes. There are some animals that are uh, masculine and feminine. For example, male tiger and female tigris. Right. We have the next one. It's a zebra. Okay, I forgot to type the meaning in Spanish in the chat. Zebra, right? It's a camel. It's a camel, of course. It's a lion. Yes, of course. If it's a male, like this one, it's a lion. But, but if it's a female, we call it like this in the chat, lioness. All right? A lion is, or this is a lion. Next one. It's a gazelle. It's a gazelle, of course. It's a leopard. It's a leopard. Okay. It's a rhinoceros. 
Yeah, you can call it rhinoceros or rhino as you prefer. Yeah. It's a cocodril. Coco or croco? Crocodril. Yes. That's the reason, Diana, why you say crocs, crocs for this crocodile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you say it again? It's a crocodile. Yes. That's the reason why you call them crocs. The, the shoes we have, this one, these are crocs for crocodile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to the next. It's an elephant. Yes, this is an African elephant, yes? Because check the difference. Here is an African elephant, but look at Asian elephants. They are different. Let me show you. Asian elephant. Yes. I'm going to show you the difference. The secret is how to identify the ear of the elephant, yes? Look at look at the ears. Ah, okay, look at this. This is the perfect picture. Have a, a nation elephant. Their ears are smaller, yeah. But African elephants they have bigger ears, yes. So that's the difference between this kind of elephants. Okay, let's go to the next. What's this, Yana? It's um, it's a gorilla. Gorilla. Okay, nice. It's a hippopotamus. Okay. Or if you don't want to say these words too long, you can say hippo. Yes. Hippo. Yeah. It's a hyena. Ah, okay. Listen to Gina? me. Hyena. 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 Yeah, because it's letter Y in English. Hyena, right? Hyena. Yeah. It's a chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. All right, girls, let me show you another word, yeah? For example, here in the African animals, we watch a chimpanzee, we also watch a gorilla, and we also watch a monkey, right? So in English, when you are talking about all these animals, in English we call it apes, yes? In the chat is apes. We call them like this, yeah? Apes are what you see in the chat, right? That talks about monkeys, gorillas, chimpanzees, baboons, all those animals that are like this, they would call them apes in English, all right? Well, let's see. I think if I was going to show you another, right? Because there are some other animals like this, like leopard or lion and what else, a tiger. It's not here in the picture, but there are some others like, for example, panther, yes? Or there is another one that I think it's very important because he's the, it's the fastest animal on earth. Yes, it's cheetah, right? This is the fastest feline. Let me tell you by the chat, how do you call it, yeah? They are felines, yeah? And let me tell you the reason why uh, there is a product that I suppose you know it, yes? Cheetos, right? They are called Cheetos for, for the animal, for the feline, the cat. So it's Cheetos for the cheetah, right? Because here, the, uh, the mascot of Cheetos, it's a cheetah. That's the reason why you call it like that. But all right, let's continue. We have some more things to show and the next kind of animals, I think they are going to be small animals, right? And after this, we still have got some birds. Yes. Let's see how many animals you can learn today. Okay. All right, Aline. One, it's time to start, Aline. What's this? Eileen, I'm waiting for you. Hurry up. If you have a problem, let me know. Probably there's a lot of noise in your house or something. Now nothing? 
Okay, then. So instead of you, let me call Diana, right? So that we can keep on going with these small animals. Diana, ready? Please take the lead. Just eat. Just It's a fish. Yeah. It's an it's an an. Yeah, it's an an. Oh my God! Give me a second because there was a problem with the platform. Oh yeah, it's, it's there. Sorry. Come on, let's go. It's a spider. It's a spider. It must be an insect, but okay, whatever. It's um uh, frog? Lisa? Yeah, frog. frog. No, frog, frog, it's correct. It's um you know the superhero bat? from DC, yeah. Batman. 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 Yeah. It's um I don't know. No? Come on, choose something. It's a uh, Mm -mm. No, try with another. It's a lizard. No, it's a snake. Snake. Snake, snake is the answer. Snake. It's a fly. Fly, that's true. Be careful, yeah. eh? Because check this out. This is a this is a frog. And they are green color, but this one, this is not a frog because it's it's bigger and brown, and it's poisonous. If you touch it, you can die. It's a toad. Toad. Yes. In the chat, I'm going to type the meaning for toad. Just in case you don't know it, that's a toad. It's a bee. Bee, right? It's a uh, frog. No, because lizard. It's, yeah, lizard. Yeah, in the chat I typed the meaning for lizard. Yes, lizard. you can find these um, reptiles. Yeah, it's like in Spanish, but you say it with a different pronunciation. This reptile you can find them in, in your house or in the garden. It's a lizard. Yeah. Lizard. Oh. It's a rat. Yeah, it's a rat. It's a snake. No, it's not. It's not a worm. Worm. Exactly. It's a worm. No, it's a snail. It's a snail. Exactly. It's a snail. And we finish. It's a butterfly. Butter. Butterfly. butterfly. Yeah, that's true. So much. Well, girls, by the moment we have learned African animals, we learn small animals and farm animals, but the most complicated part has come because we are going to check uh, birds. Yes, and birds are a little complicated and the same case for, for sea animals. So we got an idea. Why don't we start with animals, yeah? These animals, we can find them like under the water. So let me check if Eileen is ready. And if not, then you have to say them again. Hello, Eileen. Can you talk? Can you participate? Hi. Yes, teacher. Okay. What is it? It's a penguin. Penguin. It's too easy. Is um starfish? Starfish. Starfish. Is a dolphin. Dolphin. It's true. Mm. Just remember Batman. No Batman. No is spider. A, is an octopus. Octopus. All right. Like the detergent. Is a jelly jellyfish? No, it's not. 
Try with another. This uh, crab? Yes, what? It's a seal. Seal. Yeah. Seal. Exactly. Oh, this is easy. It's a shark. It's a shark. Okay. Oh, this is the one I told you. It's a turtle. Turtle, right. Ooh. This, this is the biggest sea animal we can find. Is um in the chat I type the meaning in Spanish in case you get confused. What? Whale, yes, whale. Whale. Uh -huh. In the chat is, I'm uh... the meaning for this. It's a bird that lives in the beach and those places. Is a seagull? Seagull, right? In the chat is the meaning for seagull, ladies. Yeah. Oh, you remember from Sponge SpongeBob, Mister? Is um lobster? Uh, no. Try with another. It's a crab. It's a crab, yeah, like the crab burgers or something like that. I don't know how you say that in Spanish. Be careful with this, yeah, because it's not like it's not like this, yeah. Check it. If this is a this is a seal, but if you not remember this, it's bigger, and it has got some bigger bigger teeth. In the chat is the meaning for this animal. How do you say this idea? Still no, remember. Is um walrus? Walrus, yes. In the chat is the meaning for walrus. Oh yeah. Very expensive animal. Is a lobster. Lobster, yes. In the chat is the meaning for lobster in case you don't know. We got another one. Ooh. Is um killer whale? Killer whale, yes. Let me type by the chat what's the meaning for this. Yeah, it's a killer whale. They look very friendly, but if you find them in the in the sea, they are not that friendly. Okay, next one. The chat is the meaning for this. Can you transfer an animal? Is um seagull? Seagull? No, because remember seagull is this. This is a seagull. Can you choose another? This um jellyfish. Jellyfish. The chat is the meaning in Spanish, and we finish with this. Like in. It's um, seahorse. Seahorse. That's true. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, it's time for birds. Yeah. With birds. This is an extensive uh, vocabulary from birds, and we are still missing. Uh, what is it? Wild the quiz and the insects, but well, let's see. Let's see if we can finish today. I don't know, but let's try it. Birds, yeah. And probably this is the most difficult vocabulary because there are some birds that we we have never seen in this country. But let's try. Let's try, Diana. Ready? One, two, three. It's a uh, an an eagle, right? It's a dog? No. No, it's not a dog. Oh, oh, oh. It's All a dog. All right. Let me tell you what's the right pronunciation. Owl. Owl. It's an owl, exactly. Right. It's a penguin. Yeah, 
check this already. It's a sparrow. No. It's a turkey. In the chat, I'm going to type the meaning for this in Spanish. Turkey, no, because we eat turkey in Christmas. It's a crowd, crowd. Yeah. In the chat is the meaning for crowd, right? Next. Okay. It's a um, dope. Yes, and in the chat is another meaning. You can call it dove or pigeon. Yes. Pigeon. So yeah, in, let me show you something. There is a there is a soap that it's called dove. I told you you have bought it in supermarkets. Dove. Yes, this soap. It's like the animal. Right? Go to the next one. It's uh, you can find these birds in the in the street flying very happy. Uh, no? It's a um, sparrow. Yeah, in the chat is the meaning for sparrow, but. If you go out, girls, you can see lots of these sparrows flying in the, in the street. Yes. It's a, it's a swan. It's a swan. No. It's a goose. 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 It's a goose. The chat is the meaning for goose. Okay, they are white completely and bigger than ducks. I told you, it's, this is very, very difficult to know. It's a... Uh, the chat is in Spanish. Ostrich. 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 Ostrich, right? This is the one we eat in Christmas. Do you remember that you confused with the blackbird? Mm. You got confused with this, remember? is a crow, but you confuse it with another and this is the one it's a it's turkey. turkey 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 yeah okay the chat is the meaning for turkey in case you've never seen them it's a turkey they are very big birds and it's a Man, we, we said that they repeat the words. Is one? Uh, no. They can be green, they can be blue, Parrot. yellow, it's a yes, parrot. Parrot. It's a parrot. It's a flamingo. Flamingo, right? Hmm. It's a duck. It's a duck? Yeah. It's a swan. Yes, in the chat is the meaning for swan. Swan. Yeah, swan. It's a hen. It's a hen, of course. Mm. It's a... We don't have so much birds like this in Mexico, but... It's swallow. Yes, in the chat is the meaning for this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I got confused with the with the word. What is this? Sorry for the confusion. Yeah. The chat is the meaning for swallow, right? Well, we are about to finish. Probably today show the animals, but why don't we check in? And in the next class, we finish with with some other animals and and the second part of birds, yes, so that you don't get confused. Let's go with insects. They are easier, I think. Fifteen insects quiz, right? Eileen, let's finish with this. We are about to finish. Come on, Come on Eileen. Let me to say these insects that we have in the future. Is um, B, of course. B, 
in the chat is the meaning in Spanish for this. I don't know. I got confused. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This, these insects, they can be heard in the night making noise. Check the chat and that's the correct meaning for this. No? It's a cricket. Cricket, yeah. In the night they sound. In the chat is a meaning in Spanish, but how would you say it in English? I mean, you know? It's um dragonfly. Dragonfly, that's true. Yeah. It's um. There is a movie of this, I think. It's an ant. An ant, All right. Is a uh, lady bear. Lady bear. And in the chat is another meaning. So you can say lady bear or lady bug as you prefer. Oh, this is easy. Is a uh, butterfly. Butterfly, that's true. Is a uh, mosquito. Mosquito, that's true. Is a uh, jump very much. Uh, no, try with another. These animals they jump. Is a um, grasshopper. Yes, it's a grasshopper. In the chat, I type the meaning for this insect. Okay, now it's this. In the chat, is a um, cockroach. No, no, it's not. Check the chat. Is a uh, beetle? Beetle, yes. Let me show you the reason for this. Check this out. There's a car with this, with this name, no? And it's called like that in honor to the insect, yeah? Beetle, yes. And there is another one, the band. The beetles, yes, in honor to these insects, a very famous band, the beetles, is called like that, right? So let's continue. All right, girl, what goes next? It's a fly. A fly, of course. I, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. Is a cockroach? Yes. If you don't want to say cockroach, you can say simply roach. Okay, it's cockroach. Hmm. Look at this. It's um. The chat is the meaning in Spanish. It's like wasp. A wasp. Yeah, this is a superhero, no? Okay, the wasp. Oh, this is difficult. The is, um, is the yes, here we the chat is the meaning. Mm, this is like a, like a bee, but bigger and more black. Take the chat, and that's the meaning for this. Come on. Is a bumblebee, bumblebee, yes, bumblebee. bumblebee. Yeah. It's a mantis. It's a mantis. Okay. We have finished, ladies. Well, next class, we will continue with some more animals. I think we are missing one for birds and another for small animals. And after that, we will have finished with animals. All right. So I think it's time to go out of the class, ladies. So, Diana, 